Today, we're talking with Connor Beaton, founder of Man Talk, about the book No More Mr. Nice Guy by Dr. Robert Glover and how being a nice guy and having nice guy syndrome is keeping you from having the life you want, the love you want, and the great sex you want. And then we're gonna give you just the tip, how to change it. We're talking with Connor Beaton, founder of Man Talks, which is an organization for men, which basically is a safe place for guys to get together to connect, communicate, and have a community where there are like-minded guys who are supporting each other in becoming their best masculine selves. And you talked about uh, like porn addiction. Yeah. So how does the need for sexual validation and approval from women turn into porn addiction and actually rage towards women? Yeah, so oftentimes a nice guy will use, and again, <clears throat> this is going back to the validation piece, right? Because a nice guy wants validation so much from women that it often manifests in sex. And so oftentimes nice guys will become uh, either addicted to sex or pornography in, in some way, shape, or form. And it's, it's a way for them to get that internal validation that they're seeking on a regular basis. It, it's a way for them to escape from their reality and escape from everything that's happening in their relationship or in their life. And it's oftentimes a way for them to mask the shame that they feel. So mm -hmm. nice guys are often have carry an immense amount of shame or guilt around either one specific point in their life or a whole bunch of events. And the, and the pornography is a way to continue that shame spiral. It's a way to actually like continue having that be a problem for them and for them to sort of like self-deprecate and flog themselves and make themselves wrong for it. And does it keep men disconnected from real intimacy with women? Yes. Yeah, oftentimes guys will, you know, see certain things in porn that they've watched um, and, and they will allow this to express their, their internal fantasies, mm -hmm. but oftentimes those fantasies are based off of shameful situations. So a perfect example of this is men that watch like really aggressive porn. Right. Oftentimes as a kid, they, they were dominated in some way, shape or form. Either they had an abusive father mm -hmm. or their mother was like really controlling. Mm -hmm. And so how that manifests is they watch really aggressive pornography to try and regain a resemblance of control in their life. And so they fantasize it, they play it out, and that's how it shows up in their life. And then when they get into an intimate relationship, they're trying to act that out again in some way, shape, or form. And if it doesn't happen, they can end up becoming very aggressive and very upset, and, and it re-triggers that wound. And then they become passive-aggressive. Yeah. Because they can't outwardly express yeah. any, any kind of anger or emotion that might disappoint a woman. Yeah, so most men have, you know, there's four different types of anger. Most men, most nice guys, mm -hmm. fall into the very first category. So the, the main two categories that we see are anger in and anger out. Anger in is like most nice guys, where they experience anger, they feel anger, they know that they're angry, but they just bottle it up mm -hmm. and stuff it down. So they and go it, postal. Yeah, and they go postal. But <laughs> it, it comes out in like these very passive aggressive ways, especially mm -hmm. in their work environment with their friends, with their family, but specifically in their intimate relationships. And so they, they want to avoid conflict right. because if they get into conflict, it says two things about them. One, I'm either in the wrong and I'm not good enough, or two, I have to ask for what I actually want, Ooh. right? And that's really confronting and they want to avoid that. Right. So that anger in is predominant with nice guys where maybe he's angry at his girlfriend, maybe he's angry at his friend or his family, but he won't say anything and right. he'll just start to, to like stuff it in and that anger will come out again in things like drinking, drugs, um, pornography, you know, or, or seeking prostitution and, and whatnot so that he can kind of like find a release right. of that anger in some way, shape or form. Right, so some of the things you can do is definitely go to mantalks.com. Um, definitely pick up Dr. Glover's book, No More Mr. Nice Guy. You can also subscribe to the Man Talks podcast. Mm -hmm. Uh, go to a Man Talks event in a city near you, a program that I have for guys that is basically how to get a girlfriend. And there'll be details and all the links below the video. My quivering lip. They'll be looking in your there's, eyes. There's an audience in that one. Quivering lip. <laughs> quivering lip. Sounds like a, like a 19, porn? Like a 19th century, <laughs> like a 19th century softcore porn poem. <laughs>